Hello guys, welcome to my channel Civilogy, the study of civil engineering. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an important topic which is related to slope of drain. As we all know that drains play a crucial role in removing wastewater and preventing flooding. However, their effectiveness relies heavily on proper design, particularly the slope. So in this video, we will explore the importance of slope in drain design and what are the considerations for perfect slope and what is the recommended slope for good drainage. And we will also discuss that how can we calculate slope and how slope is represented and what are the problems associated with poor drainage. So guys, you are requested to watch complete video so that you do not miss an important point which I am going to discuss at the end of this video. So before we start our today's topic, if you are new to my channel, you are requested to please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates. So let's get started. First of all, the question arises why slope matters. A well designed slope ensures efficient wastewater flow, reduced risk of clogging and prevention of sediment accumulation and minimize maintenance cost. That's why slope matters a lot. If proper slope is not maintained, you will face these issues. Okay. The second question is that what are the factors which affect the slope? Here are some factors that when determining drain slope consider these. Okay. The first one is type the type of sewer whether the sewer is being designed for storm water only or for sanitary or for combined the second point is pipe material and diameter also affect the slope okay the third point is flow rate and volume the fourth point is topography and elevation changes the fifth last but not the least local regulations and standards are to be considered before selecting a slope for a certain area. Now let's have a look that what is slope and how it is defined and what is gradient. Being civil engineer or a surveyor, you must know that what is slope, how it is defined and what is difference between slope and gradient. So here is the definition. A surface of which one end or side is at higher level than another. As you can see over here, this point is at higher elevation as compared to this point. So the line joining these two points is called as slope. Okay. And the gradient is the measure of how steep a slope is. Now the slope can be expressed as in the form of ratio, in the form of percentage or in the form of degrees. Let's write the mathematical form of the slope. It can be written as gradient or slope is equal to rise or fall divided by run okay in this condition the run is 10 meters run is actually the horizontal distance okay and rise or fall could be the vertical distance which is either downward or upward if it is upward it is called as rise and if it is downward it is called as fall okay now as we have discussed that slope is expressed in the form of ratio. How can we write this in the form of ratio? As we have written the formula that rise divided by run. Rise in this case is 500 and run is 10,000 millimeters. If we write it as 1 divided by 20. If we simplify this, it will become 1 divided by 20 and we can write it as 1 ratio 20. 1 ratio 20 means that it is 10 meter, 10 meter horizontal and 500 meter vertical. It's mean that for each 10 meter, you will have to rise 500 millimeters. Okay. Now it can also be expressed in the form of percentage. If you write the formula as rise divided by run multiply by 100, 100 is for percentage. Okay. Again, the rise is 1 divided by 20. As you can see over here, the simplified form of this ratio and we will get this slope slope is actually 5% okay similarly you can write this in the form of degrees as you can see over here here is a certain angle 
as you can see over here this is the angle and it can be calculated as 10 inverse of 500 divided by 10,000 you will get the degrees or you can say you will get the slope in the form of degrees so there are three basic methods to write slope okay it can be written in the form of ratio percentage or degrees okay uh, guys i have already made a number of videos to calculate slope to calculate the excavation level of drainage pipe and how can you calculate invert levels and these videos are already uploaded on my channel and these videos have got more than 60 plus k views okay these are very important and people are liking it and these topics are also related with drainage pipe okay so you guys are requested to must watch these videos as well i will share the link in the description must watch these videos now what are the design considerations for slope of drain pipe diameter pipe diameter must be considered before selecting a slope for a certain area larger pipe requires less slope and the flow rate also plays important role before selecting a slope higher flow rates require more slope okay the third point to be considered is pipe material as we know that in market pipes are available in different uh, made up of different materials like from cast iron or pvc or rcc okay smooth pipes for example pvc requires less slope than rough pipes for example cast iron the fourth point is drain line length longer drain line requires more slope these points must be considered before selecting a slope now if there is no slope in the pipe or you can say there is zero slope in the pipe then there will be no drainage and there are some problems which are associated with no slope or insufficient slope the first one is poor drainage water may not flow freely leading to backups clogs and overflow sediments accumulation debris and sediment can settle and accumulate causing blockages the third problem is order and corrosion stagnant water can lead to unpleasant orders and corrosion of the pipe the fourth problem associated with zero slope is increased maintenance most frequent cleaning and clearing of blockages will be required which will in result increase your cost okay the fifth point associated with zero slope or no slope is health risk stagnant water can become breeding ground for bacteria and other harmful organisms the second condition if you provide too much slope then then there is a problem it's mean that if you provide slope more than half inches in one feet okay this is to this is called to be too much slope okay then what will happen the liquid flows quickly and solid matter is left behind and there are also certain problems associated with excessive slope the first one is water scoring high velocity water flow can erode pipe material especially at bends and connections noise and vibration water rushing through the pipe can generate excessive noise and vibration the third point associated with too much slope is pipe damage excessive flow rates can cause pipe collapse cracking or joint failure the fourth point is difficulty in pipe cleaning debris and cleaning equipment may not be able to navigate steepy sloping pipes increased risk of leaks if there are there is excessive slope there is increased risk of leaks that high water pressure can stress pipe connections and seals now what is the standard and recommended slope which should be considered perfect or good for a drain pipe here is the example if you provide 1 by 4 inches to 1 by 2 inches slope in one feet this is to be called as perfect or good slope for any drain pipe what will happen both liquid and solids will drain out at the same time now there is a society which is called as american society of plumbing engineers it recommends two percent slope that is one by four inch per foot for pipes up to three inches diameter as we have already discussed the, the in the consideration for the slope of the drain that diameter of the pipe size of the pipe also matters if the size of the pipe is three inches then it is recommended that 
one by four inches or two percent slope is to be provided and one inch slope that is one by eight per inch foot for pipes three to six inches in diameter to be provided and it is considered to be good 0.5 percent slope that is 1 by 16 inch per foot for pipes over 6 inches in diameter. Okay. There is another society or uh, you can say IPC code, International Plumbing Code. It recommends 2% slope that is 1 by 4 inch per foot for pipes up to 2.5 inches in diameter. Or 1% or uh, you can say 1 by 8 inch per foot for pipes 2.5 to 4 inches in diameter and 0.5 percent slope uh, you can say 1 by 16 inch per foot for pipes over 4 inches in diameter so guys that's all for today i hope you have liked the video for more videos you are requested to subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get important informative videos related to civil engineering that's all for today